I, uh, I are you still with me? Yeah, yes. Okay. <clears throat> right. He, I am not an immigration agent, right? I help, my job is to help people to find a job in New Zealand and Australia. And then the best one, which caught me, is there is, I know what, what to do, I know how to do my job, and there is no one else who does what I do. Then I said, now this is interesting, and now this is a different level. This gentleman claims that he knows what he does, which is good. I like the confidence, but he says there is no one else who does what he does. And I wanted to test that. And I tell you, by the time we got to week three, week four, I was saying, oh, I was saying, this is what statement. This is what statement. And then lastly, uh, I'm also letting you know that my wife and I had two, not one, conversations. When, we, when I was saying, I think we are underpaying tax. The type of the work that he does, how he labors with his work, I, I, I don't think his invoice justifies what he's doing for us. Yeah. So that was my experience. And then I, I, it, it was only befitting in my, in my case that your very first call that you did as part of the exercise is the job that I am having today. <clears throat> A very, a very respectable company, and that was selected by you. You were selecting the targets, uh, so it really is a teamwork effort, just sharing information, learning together. And um, there's, there's something called. Uh, I think it's a new, a new way of speaking that I would like to introduce to myself as well. Not, I'm not, I'm not telling to you. I'm saying for myself as well. When we're saying teach, we have to say teach and learn because we're all learning as we teach and we have to teach as we, you know, there's a balance there. There's an exchange there. It's not mm -hmm. only teaching from top down, like authority. It's, it's, if you're not learning while you're teaching, then you're going backwards. You can't just teach only and not listen and not learn as well. So it's a little bit of a philosophy, but uh, the teamwork effort is, is also there. We shouldn't miss the component because I, uh, you were hungry for help. That's a that's a very that's a very good position to be in. You were ready to make something happen. It's also a good position, and so you could use me. And I think together there was a synergy in that effort because uh, I was motivated by the challenge. I saw that it's an opportunity for me because this guy is extremely skilled. He's very well known in his place. I know there's a fit here. I understand the challenges of jumping over the middle manager barrier, especially on your level where you're dealing with large groups of people, relationships are important, but we brought that out. We understood the, uh, so I understood the challenge together with you. We both communicated that challenge back and forth. And we made, we made that challenge diminish. We made that barrier go down and maybe even become almost irrelevant because we had so much content about your strengths and how you work and, and with what kind of people and how your philosophy goes and the results of what you give. And it all makes sense because of the stories were repeating the pattern of how you work. So it, it, it began, it began to allow the hiring manager. Now, I don't know this, but I'm, I'm believing that they could ask you intelligent questions now because they understood you as a person. It wasn't just your achievements or how you did work, but they also un began to understand you as a person, which is the personal decision to hire. W would you say that we got close to that? Correct, correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. very correct. Because um, he, he, I, I, I like uh, the, your, your, your new, new way, and I'm actually going to pick it up from this conversation, is one of the beneficial takeaways to say, as you go through teaching, you also learn. Uh, in my job, part of my role is to train, right? As you train employees, as you train management on health and safety, you also uh, have mutual learning because you are using real case studies to say, this is what I, what I am uh, trying to train you based on my experience, based on what I learned from my 30 years in Africa, work of working in Africa. But I am working in New Zealand for the first time. I'm working with this company for the first time. I'm actually new to the construction industry to a large extent, right? But is the case studies that we are, we are now using is you will teach me about that. So it's a reverse 
learning on my part. And uh, that's exactly what happened, what happened during our session, coming back to how I learned a lot from you. And uh, I, 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 I have been humbled to hear you showering me with the kind of words, experienced, extremely uh, skilled, uh, and, 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 and all this. But the underlying issue, which I wish to mention for uh, the people who are going to benefit from my testimonial is, there was a bit of a game changer on interviews. Because uh, during my, my job hunting, while I was job hunting for New Zealand, because there was COVID, I was also job hunting in Africa. And I did a couple of interviews. Uh, one of which I was successful because I ended up working there, but some of which I was not successful. And what I learned is the interviews that I was not successful in Africa were probably more than the interviews that I was not successful here. By the way, I said, I made 100 calls, got two offers. There was one offer. In fact, there were two interviews that I did. One, I was successful with the recruitment agent. And then when she handed over me as one of the shortlisted people, I, I missed out on the shortlist on, because of what you said earlier on. The employer said, look, we really like this guy. The skills are perfect for what we're looking for, but it's going to take not less than three months to get this person here. And we don't have that time. That's how I missed out on that one. Then the other one, I also got interviewed by a recruitment agent. It was in construction industry, a contractor, exactly the same thing, right? That's what, that was the experience on the four. So I will say, out of the four companies that interviewed me, the process was successful. And I can confidently say it was successful because of the session that you took me through. Because part of the exercise that we did, you were preparing me for interview sessions. Yes. Yeah, how to say what to say at what stage yeah. of the interview. Yeah. You could not prepare me for those interviews in Africa because it's different. Yeah. And I was unsuccessful in more interviews in Africa than here. So <laughs> that's how I'm that's how I'm you. I'm I am genuinely passing on the credit to you because the metrics are there for me to compare. Yes. All right. Well, thank you very much. Um I'm honored, and the, the opportunity was great. I, I'll probably remember this conversation for a long time and uh, and try to solidify things, you know, use it as an opportunity to solidify those things within the process. But let's let's go to your experience now. You come to New Zealand your first time, is that correct, this time? Yeah, correct. So you, got, you got four interviews. Looks like you got four job offers, except for some conditions that sometimes weren't acceptable. But at the end, you had two, you accepted one. You came here 14 days or nearby 14 days ago. You've, you've been working since 10 days ago. So you're only here four days. What was it like coming in, spending your first four days in New Zealand, realizing that you don't have to look for work? How, did you have a good experience of the, let's say, maybe we can talk about the topics, the city life, um, the be have you seen a beach yet? Uh, have you met people in... Um, just in the day-to-day -day experience uh, or and maybe the, the, the colleagues at work, you're treated well, I, whatever you want to talk about. I'm wondering about first impressions. So there is one underlying issue that anyone who goes through my experiences will be compelled to say is how kind, uh, this time I will not say Kiwis, how kind people in New Zealand are. Because what I have learned now during my two weeks in New Zealand is New Zealand is now uh, has become a diverse country, which is welcoming people from all over the world, right? I, I, in South Africa, South Africa markets itself as a, um, a, as a rainbow nation, which, is, which embraces diversity. I, I, I'm seeing an extended version of that in, uh, in, in New Zealand. You have so many, um, uh, you, you probably have every continent represented in New Zealand, right? So that was my very first impression at the airport. 